Hello, YouTube. It's Tammy C. Walker, owner of Dreams Are a Reality. I hope that you are good today. And I'm coming to you with a video. First of all, this is my channel, Dreams Are Reality. I created this channel to provide light and love. Today, I want to talk about being intentional and dealing with stress. It seems like a lot of that is floating around. I'm a victim of it myself. I'll be transparent today. I'm just coming off the cuff. I didn't write anything down. I don't write anything down for most of my videos. Sometimes I do. It depends on like the NACA thing that I just did. I had to really, you know, I think I did a power. Yeah, I did PowerPoint for that. But some, sometimes I do videos. I just come off the cuff. When I do my podcast style, I'm reading a lot lately from Iyanla's book, and then I add in my own words. But as the other YouTubers know on here, it all depends on your style and what you're presenting. But the more you do this, it just comes natural. So, um, yeah, that's a whole nother video. I could talk about something like that, too. But today I want to talk about being intentional and watching the stress in your life. Um, some of you are newer to my channel. You don't know my story. Some of you are probably sick of hearing about it. Um, why the hell does this lady keep talking about breast cancer? Well, I talk about that because I could have died and I had it twice and it scared me so bad. And I had a, a very aggressive form of it in 2007 and in 2012, 2013, it wasn't as bad. But the fact is that it came back. So me having breast cancer twice, what that did for me was made me much more aware of my body. And it made me paranoid. <laughs> I'm just telling you, I'm just being transparent. It created anxiety. I've always been an anxious type person, but my anxiety became heightened after the second battle. I went into menopause. I have insomnia sometimes. I have a lot of residual effects of this chemo radiation. I'm not knocking that because that saved my life. That's why I'm here. But I'm just telling you some of the things my body went through. So I'm terrified of being like stressed out in a bad relationship, being at a job I despise. Any of that makes me tense up. And I think, oh God, I don't want to get sick again because that stress is how I feel. I got sick. I went through a bad divorce. I kept losing jobs and it was just stress, stress, stress. And then the second time my mom was very ill with brain cancer and me and my sisters were taking care of her. And after she passed away, after being a caregiver for a few months, that's when the cancer came back. So that's why I talk about stress. That's why I talk about having breast cancer because for me, it's terrifying and it changed my life. So I don't want you to ever go through any of that kind of stuff. And I want you to be mindful of your stress. So again, being a survivor, recently I had a dental appointment and they took my blood pressure, which they do that for all of us sometimes, some places. And it was high. Okay, I don't have high blood pressure, never have. Okay, so I'm like, don't freak out when you go to the doctor to see your oncologist on March 30th, yesterday see what it's like. Well, it's high again. And that's a no, that's a no, no, that's a no, no. We, we don't do that. She don't do that. So that was my red flag that I already knew. Of, I got to do something different. So I'm talking to my therapist. We're coming up with things. What can I do? I already do the journaling in the morning. I do the prayer. I do the meditation. I do the daily word, Yana's book. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm doing that. I have about the treadmills right next to me. I use that. I need to use it more. My diet, hmm, it's not, it hasn't been the best. You know, I could do better. In the morning, I eat a banana and I eat oatmeal with blueberries. Some mornings, if it gets thrown off like today, I, I ugh, that's kind of weird. Yesterday, I took a nap after my doctor appointment because I was like, it was a couple of things happened. I just got thrown off and I try not to work on Wednesday evening. So I just took me a nice nap and I was up late, of course, because I took that nap. But I woke up later than normal today, a little bit later, and it threw me all the way off. I didn't even get to eat my breakfast. I didn't get to do my routine. And these are like, these are no's. Like, and so for you, 
are you stressed out? Are you dealing with your, are you dealing with your health? Make your doctor appointments. I am religious. I am crazy with my doctor appointments. Um, I had to reschedule this oncology visit because I caught COVID in December. And right when I caught COVID was when I had my oncology appointment. So it started December 20 something, 7th, 8th. I had my appointment the 29th, canceled. So now you cancel these appointments, it takes three more months. That's why I'm just going March 30th. I'm over 50. It's time for a colonoscopy. I go and do that in May. So I want you, if you're in my age range, if you're 40 and older, women, get your mammogram. I do not miss my mammogram. I went all through COVID. People's like, I didn't go. It was I, I showed up. I showed up at those hospitals and I got my mammogram because my health is my wealth. You can have a bag of money. They can give you a big contract. If you are six feet under, that money is just left on earth for others to fight over. Your health is your wealth. I cannot emphasize that enough. Get to the doctor. Get to the doctor now. Make sure your blood pressure is on point. I'm your girl here. I'm anal. I have my blood work done. I go line by line. Yes, I do. Potassium. This. How is that? If I see something a little bit weird, I type in the word. If I don't know what it means, what does that do to the body? Da, 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 da. I'm looking at everything. I'm looking at every line to make sure my, you know, everything's good with my blood because that's what starts telling you about these diseases. You know, I'm looking at this one thing. Oh God, I don't know medical terms, but I typed it in. Oh, that's liver. That's for your liver. Uh oh, I mean, mine was fine, but I was just making sure. So do that, go to the doctor, get your blood work done. How is your vitamin D as in dog for African-American women? And I don't know about Asian or Latina women, but us, I know for sure African-American women, our vitamin D can be low many times. It causes fatigue. For me, it causes, it causes insomnia. And I kind of picked up on it because I bought a lower dosage of a vitamin D and I couldn't sleep hardly. So I kicked it up and then I started back sleeping. So see how once you know your body, you'll know the things to tweak. Be an advocate for your health. You're only with your doctor 15, 20 minutes. They can only help you so much. You monitor like the breast, the self breast exams. Monitor how your body's feeling. Like me today, my back feels tense. Like I feel tense and I don't feel 100% like as good as I can feel. Uh, I know it's going to take more exercise. I can't wait till this weather warms up. I can do my laps around this area I live in. Um, I'm ready to play some tennis eventually. And me and my therapist, we talked about incorporating a yoga class that could help me. So the more you do, the more you can work on your health. Um, once I get off here, I'm going to do a juice, a spinach, cucumber, blueberry juice. I used to do those every morning. Now I'm not doing them in the morning because I have to keep going back to the washroom. I have the students in and out of my room. It just doesn't work out. I have a long commute. I just don't even feel like being bothered with that. So I'll do them in the evenings. That's fine. As long as I get that nutrition in. Can you do something like that? If you don't want to make your own juices, I also buy the um, Naked juices. I love the Naked juice. I bought another brand. It's kind of similar to Naked. I have one in there. So that's when I'm out, I grab that and take it with me. But if I'm in the house, I can make my own juice. So maybe that's something you can do. Try to get to your doctor. Try to start taking some vitamins if you're not, especially no matter what age you are. I would say start if you're 18 watching this. Start with your multi. These are the vitamins I take. I take a multivitamin. I take um, a D as in dog. I take a B12 and I'll pop a B12. Like if I have to work at night, sometimes I'll pop one in, you know, just to kind of rejuvenate me. B12 did wonders for me. When I went through chemo, I had the neuropathy where really my fingers didn't do it, but my feet got numb and it felt like prick, prickly needles. It was like the blood flow wasn't going well. I would pop a B12 it would go away like in a, about, about an hour or less. So this, this shows you that this stuff, stuff works. 
um, let's see, have, what else? D, multi, and I do, um, oh my God, CMOS. I take a CMOS vitamin now, and that seems to be helping me as well. If I feel like I'm getting a sore throat a little bit or a little weird, I pop the vitamin C and with a zinc. So that those are the things that you can do to help yourself. So we got the doctor, we have the vitamins, uh, exercise, can't go wrong. Watch what you're eating. I've been eating a lot of restaurant, like mm -hmm. have to grab and go because I'm busy, but I got to do better. So I've been buying more chicken, throwing it in my crock pot, you know, and eat that with a salad or something like that. Or cut back today. I had a Subway sandwich. Um, that's the rest. That's what I'm going to have for dinner, the other half. <laughs> Um, and maybe I have a salad in there. So these are things I have to do to make my body better. You know, we all we got. Uh, your mental, your mental is paramount. What good is a, a, a good body when your mind is all messed up? What do you do for your mental? Are you meditating? Are you journaling? Do you have a therapist that you can talk to? You don't need to, need to talk to him or her every week. You could do every other, but if you know you're dealing with grief, you're dealing with childhood trauma, you're dealing with stress, you're dealing with a divorce, you have a strained relationship that's affecting you, you're in a breakup, you have a financial trouble, you're just like really in a bad place. We are here to help you. You're a therapist. That's us. We are here to help you. So don't be ashamed to reach out, but just know that your health is your wealth. You can put on the prettiest wig and weave and you can get your hair done so beautiful. You can have these fly fingernails. You can have your face made up. Your outfit could be whatever, the best purse, the best car, the best house. And if your health is bad, what good is it? And that's just really the truth of the matter. We are all we got. Put yourself first. You tell people no. You grab your phone. You throw, okay, I got mine. Throw that sucker on airplane mode. Can't do it. Won't do it. Can't help you. No, no. And another no goes there. I don't care if people don't understand. She's acting funny. She seemed different. Listen, I'm all I got. I, I'm all I got. I am single. Everything I do comes from the back of Tammy Walker. I make it all happen. <laughs> I run the show. I run the movie. I run the script. I run everything. So I have to be protective of my health. And you know what I learned? People don't understand. They don't know the half until they walk in your shoes. And if you haven't been through what I've been through, or what you've been through, or he's been through, or she's been through, we can't relate. And that's all to it. Okay, you all. Hit subscribe. I got new subscribers. Woo I wish I had some confetti. I would like throw it up. You all, I guess y'all really appreciated the NACA information. Let me tell you something. I am here to share. If I can get a house or a building or whatever, and if I can help you do it, that's what it's all about. I just did the NACA videos and I'll have another update towards the end of April because I want you to get your own house and I want you to know that it is very possible. And not only will you get a house, you'll get it through Bank of America and you'll get it at a decent rate where it'll be something you can afford and that's what you deserve. Don't look at getting a house, getting married, having your own business. Don't look at it like, far lofty and far away dreams. They are not. You can have all this stuff. It's very attain attainable. <laughs> attainable and achievable. But sometimes we just need somebody that went through the process or going through it to give you information. And then that inspire you to go get it. This is how I got into this program. My friend from California told me, and you know, I'm a skeptic and paranoid sometimes. And I'm like, girl, I don't know about that. I don't have seven, eight, nine months, but it don't even sound like it's going to be all of that. If I just follow what they tell me, it can be three to six months. And that's right in the time frame of my lease. And, you know, I'm not even going to go down, start talking about other stuff, but I just hope I inspired you all with the NACA videos and 
I appreciate you all for even just subscribing. And if I can help you in any type of way, drop comments, drop questions. I'll get, you know, I'll get you, give you the answer. I'm usually pretty resourceful. Let's see what else. Hit the like button. That's what I want to say. I think that's all I got. I just had to jump on here and say something. Um, it's been a stressful week. Um, it hasn't been bad, but just learning about that blood pressure stuff. And, you know, I've been hearing other stuff from other people. Stress, a lot of stress, relationship stress, uh, people losing, people passing away. It's sad. It's sad and stressful. I don't mean to make you feel bad. My channel isn't for that. But death, stress, all of that is a part of life. And I want to be honest and transparent but also ways we can prevent early deaths or, you know, bad health issues. You don't want to be 50 and 60 on a cane and a walker. We don't have to be because we have vitality. We have life. We have things we can do to improve our life. So hopefully something I say helps. And I'll be back. I'll be back. I'll be back with another video. Okay, now, Tammy Sharice Walker signing off and have yourself a beautiful day.